they would say, well, you never asked us why. You, you just asked, can I just? You know, and there's a difference between can I just to why, you know. And uh, I began to ask what questions I could ask them and be prepared to, to, to ask them questions. Uh, how dare they come ask me questions? I have some questions for you now. I had no clue. I just went along with the rule. And they just, you know, said, you know, jump, and I said, how high? And now they say jump, and I say, why? <laughs> it's just like everyone else. I knew there were things that I needed to know, I needed to ask, but I didn't know how to ask them, or I didn't know whether it was right to ask. Um, I did go to the schools, but I didn't ask a lot of questions. I just... Whatever they gave me, a report on my child, I somewhat just took the report because I figured they were right and I'm not the teacher. We became homeless. We were evicted from our apartment. I um, called the homeless shelter and they're like, you know, you got to come stay with us for a couple weeks. I was like, I, I can't bring the kids to a homeless shelter. I've been there myself once and I don't ever want to go back. And again, it helped me to be more confident when I went into that room. I don't think without the right, writing down those questions without the right question technique, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I wouldn't be able to go in there and not cry and, and be hysterical. I probably would have been that. I probably would have been hysterical crying, I'm homeless, I don't want to go to the shelter. But I wasn't like that at all. I was completely under control. mothers have gone through the Right Question Project, they have a different level of expectation. Um, they expect that the policies will be followed through, and if they don't get what they think they should get, that there's a feeling of accountability, these people are working for me. You're not supposed to accept what someone gives you as a parent on your child, because you know your child. It um, more or less gave you the encouragement and the power to go in and say, I want to know how you got this and where did you get it from? Que estás más preparado. Sabes lo que quieres. Cuando sabes lo que quieres, buscas la forma de obtenerlo. You know, it, it, to me, it can affect hugely decisions that are made in the political arena or in school arenas or any place where bigger decisions are made because you have a voice and a lot of people don't believe that our opinions or our, our, our ideas count. Well, they do. And I think this is just a step further into learning how to get those opinions and ideas across. And that's what we really like about the Right Question Project is that it helps parents or community members find their own voice and use their own voice. Um, they, they see me different in being more strong about myself, you know, um, being more able to speak up for myself, being more able to, um, to, um, you know, being a tiger. 